As we have seen how to derive an Euler's equation, that is, it consists of only two forces, that is, pressure force as well as gravitational force. We can use this Euler's equation to derive most important equation in fluid mechanics, that is, Bernoulli's equation. Derivation of Bernoulli's equation from Euler's equation. For that, let us analyze the Euler's equation first. So, we have already derived the Euler's equation as dou Ps plus rho into G dz plus rho into Vs into Vs is equals to dou S, dou Vs is equals to 0. So now we have seen this is as the Euler's equation. Now if we integrate this equation, what do we get? That is integral of dou Ps plus integral of rho G into dz plus integral of rho Vs into dou Vs that is equals to 0. Now, when we integrate this, we can get over here that is pressure force that is or the pressure plus what do we get over here since rho and g is constant. Why rho is constant over here since it is an incompressible flow. So, for incompressible why rho is constant over here since it is an incompressible flow in incompressible flow the density remains constant and acceleration due to gravity we assume it is constant so this is rho into g into z plus what you'll get over here is rho into vs square by 2 that is equals to 0. We can remove this subscript Bs as well as subscript S from this entire equation. Now this won't be equals to 0. This will be equals to some constant of integration. So we can write this as P divided by rho if we are dividing by density plus V square by 2 plus g into z that is equals to constant or let us divide this by g so this is p upon rho g plus v square by 2g plus z is equals to constant now this equation is actually called as Bernoulli's equation Now, let us understand what is actually Bernoulli's equation by term by term, okay. So, now what we have got over here that is P by rho G next term over here is plus V square by 2G third term over here is Z is equals to constant. So, let us understand what is this force that is P by rho G. So, the first term over here, this term is called as pressure energy per unit weight or per weight. Or this is called as, let us derive this first, pressure energy is actually given as pressure into volume. Per unit weight will be mass into gravitational acceleration. Now, we already know that density is equals to mass upon volume. So, 1 upon density is equals to volume upon mass which is over here. So, this can be written as P upon rho g. Now, P by rho g is act also called as pressure 
energy head now why it is called as head because let us evaluate the unit energy has a unit of joules or let us write down that is equals to newton into meter joules which is newton meter and mass which has a unit of uh, and weight um, and weight which has a unit of newton so now newton and newton will go away and we will have meters left over here so hence this is called as pressure energy head and it is called it is in meters now what is actually pressure energy head it is the amount of pressure energy required to raise the water level by a meter or we can say it the other way the loss in head that is the level of the liquid which goes down will gain in some amount of pressure energy so that is called as pressure energy head now next let us write down that is head next head is kinetic energy per unit weight let us see this that is this term over here that is given as half mv square upon the weight is mass into gravitational acceleration so the mass and mass will go away now we already know the energy to weight unit is actually meters so no need to derive that again and what we get over here this is v square by 2g this is called as actually the kinetic kinetic energy head which is also in meter so now what is kinetic energy head that is the increase in the amount of kinetic energy if the level rises or if the level drops then increase in kinetic energy with decrease in the level so that is actually kinetic energy head the last is called as potential energy head so let us write this part that is potential energy potential energy per unit weight now what is potential energy given as that is mg h can be replaced by z per unit weight will be mg so that will be as written as z and this part is called as potential potential energy head now increase in potential energy head means increase in the level so that is also calculated in meters so together what we have over here that is p upon rho g pressure energy head plus v square by 2g that is kinetic energy head plus potential energy head is equals to constant now if it is equals to constant and if you apply Bernoulli's equation for a condition where it can be applied at two different ends of the pipe then supposingly this is a pipe in which this is section 1 1 this is section 2 2 then we can write this as P1 upon rho g that is pressure at the inlet is equals a plus v1 square by 2g that is the velocity at the inlet plus z1 that is the head at the inlet is equals to p2 by rho g plus v2 square by 2g plus z2 now this is the derivation of Bernoulli's equation but this derivation is actually for an ideal flow now what is an ideal flow a flow or flow of a fluid in which the viscosity tends to zero but in real fluid flows this equation is not valid actually it is valid but there is some amount of 
deformations in the equation or some amount of new terms which is added in the equation for deformation. So let us write down this is just for ideal flow, ideal flow, the ideal fluid or ideal flow, ideal fluid where the viscosity tends to zero. Now if the fluid is viscous then this can be written as then the Bernoulli's equation can be written as P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus Z1 is equals to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z2 plus HL. Now HL over here is called head loss. Now what is actually head loss? Now this is the entire Bernoulli's equation for an ideal fluid. For a real fluid which we have written here this is valid for a real fluid since a real fluid has some viscosity uh, due to the viscous force of the fluid there will be some head loss that is called, there is some drop in the level that is called as the head loss. So now this is entire Bernoulli's equation for a real fluid and in ideal fluid this will be zero. Hence this is depending upon the viscosity of the fluid. If the viscous force is taken into consideration then this won't be a case of Euler's equation. It won't be a case of navier stokes equation. I hope you have understood what is Bernoulli's equation and derivation of Bernoulli's equation, pressure energy head, kinetic energy head and potential energy head and application of Bernoulli's and Bernoulli's equation in real fluid flow as well as ideal fluid flow. Thank you.